Welcome again to In Focus. Well, we have a very special guest with us today, Rod Murray, host of VOA's Hip Hop Connection. Hey, Rod, so you recently had this chance to interview Ndambi. She's a very talented young singer. Yes, yes, I did. The R&B singer stopped by the VOA studios recently and talked with me about her new single and her new album. released this album Pink Elephant that's out right now. It's a ride on different stories and I'm the narrator and it's up to the audience whoever listens to it it's up to you to decide what the story means to you. Times it's funny but I keep right on fussing with you. Tell me run Lee but I won't I keep on fussing with you. I can't hardly What made you decide you know hey I'm going to be a singer? I think I've always loved music and I always felt a connection to it. And I was one of those kids who did stand in the mirror and pretend <laughs> to sing. And um, always in everything that I did, even if I was not trying to do it, music, if, if I wasn't trying to do music, music would find me. So I felt like that there was a, a real purpose for me to do music beyond me. So I was like, okay, this is it. You go out but never with me. Still I keep on fussing with you. Always competing and I keep right on fussing with you. And I've started resenting, but I keep right on fussing with you. I can't hardly wait. It's a story about being involved with someone who doesn't understand and appreciate all that you bring to the relationship and they take you for granted, but you love them so much that you stay knowing that it's not good for you and you, you're getting the gumption to leave. To leave. I was the best you ever had, yeah. So in love with being in love, and it's the only thing I'm thinking of. When I get this monkey off of me, I bet one day I'm gonna leave. So don't tell me. I like to be inspired by music, places, trips, words, a sign, anything. So this song in particular, I have been listening to UGK. The morning, and rolling with one of my girlfriends, and uh, that night I had a, a dream, and these little words kept coming to me. And you ain't changed, but I keep right on fussing with you. I can't hardly wait to be through with you. Hardly wait. Still I'm fussing with you. I can't hardly wait. Hey, Rod, that sounds great, and mm -hmm. congratulations for that interview. But the question here is, Dabby appears to be to have been around uh, for quite a while, but then we haven't had so much of her. W why? Yeah, she uh, started out being a uh, backup singer for Erica Badu. Uh, she's had some albums before. Uh, you know, it's just very difficult in the, in the record game to get your stuff out there, and especially when you have a soulful sound and you, your lyrics actually means something it's really difficult so you know hopefully this time with Pink Elephant she'll be able to get out there and everybody can see who Ndambi really is and see her talent and I we read that uh, her name Ndambi means the most beautiful um, tell us where has she been all this time she's just been working I mean she's writing and producing and just putting together music and and, and performing and, and she just got a new record there and you... everywhere Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. She just got a new record label, right? Stax? Yes, she's with Stax Records. And Stax Records, back in the 70s, was huge for soul music. I mean, everybody that did soulful music wanted to go through Stax. And so now, in the 2000s, they're trying to come back and keep that soulful sound. And that's what Ndambi is bringing. Wow. I'm telling you, she's got soul, though. It sounds she's got it. She's, yeah, got she's, got me on that she's song. bringing back that hairstyle. Thanks, Rob <laughs> Murray. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. And uh, thanks a lot for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time right here on In Focus.